The first thing you must do to set up a SQL Server connection with Windows Authentication in Query Search is to download the SQL Server JDBC driver from the Microsoft website. Here I have downloaded the driver file on my desktop. The next step is to unzip the driver files. This is done by double clicking on the downloaded file, which will open up the self extractor. Choose a location to extract to, then click the unzip button. Once the files are unzipped, you can close out of the self extractor. Next, you need to make sure that the agent is not currently running. If an agent is running, it can be stopped by going to the Stop Agent Service shortcut in the Query Surge Start menu folder. This will open a command prompt window that will display the progress. Once the operation is complete, you can press any key to close the window. After the agent has been shut down, the driver jar file can be copied from the folder containing the extracted driver files into the necessary query search folder. The jar file will be located in the Microsoft JDBC Driver 4.0 for SQL Server folder. Here the file will be called sqljdbc4.jar. I am going to copy this file now. Then you must navigate to the query search installation directory. Then go to the java lib ext folder where the file can now be pasted. Next, you'll need to copy the SQL JDBC auth DLL file into a folder on the Windows path. A good choice for this would be the C Windows directory. The auth DLL file is located in the extracted driver folder as well under the SQL JDBC 4.0 ENU and auth folder. Here, depending on whether the agent machine has a 64 or 32-bit architecture, the appropriate folder must be selected. I am using a 64-bit computer, so I will select the x64 folder. It is important to select the right file for your system. Finally, the SQL JDBC auth DLL can be copied from this folder. I am going to place it in the C Windows directory since this folder is contained in the path variable. The last step is to start the agent backup. This can be done from the Query Search Start menu folder by selecting the Start Agent Service shortcut. Once the agent service is successfully started, the driver installation is complete and the connection can now be created in Query Search. First, log into the application as an admin. To add a new connection, click on the Administration menu and select the Add Connection option. This will open the connection wizard. A name needs to be given to this connection. This will be the name used throughout Query Search. Then, the connection type must be chosen. This driver comes directly from the vendor, so it can be found under the Vendor Drivers option. In this list, you will see the SQL Server Windows Authentication connection type for both the JDBC 3.0 and 4.0 driver. In this case, the 4.0 driver was used. Once the driver has been selected, the driver class string is automatically populated. Next, you will need to specify the server address, which can either be the IP address of the server or the qualified domain name. The correct port must also be specified. Finally, the default database must be filled in. Once all of the connection information has been populated, it will be displayed for review. If all of the information is correct, you can test the connection by clicking the Test Connection button. If the connection test passes, the settings are correct and the new connection can be saved. It will now appear in the connections list and can be selected when creating or editing query pairs. So now we're done. We have successfully installed the driver and created a new connection in Query Search.